Vida Claudia cells. These are what again? They are Claudia cells. Okay. And they are... Um, Actually from her body or from her no, research? <laughs> no, for her research. And she works with um, LUG2 patient fibroblasts. Okay. It's clear. And, and why it's 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 taken from the skin, right? It's taken from the skin. So why is it in a in a liquid? Ah, uh, because you need to provide growth factors for the cells. So you know so we are trying so this to. This is already a kind of a it's nutritious like environment yes. that it grows in. And you provide this environment to mimic the, you know, like the body. So it's 37 degrees in Temperature, here. Temperature. It's yeah, a humidified chamber, so you can see that there is liquid. So okay. otherwise, if it was 30 degrees, uh, 37 degrees only, the medium would evaporate. So I that's see. why it's a humidified chamber. So that's nice. Uh, let's look at them. Can you record the 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 the, the, the mm, no, microscope as well? No, because we don't have well? a camera attached to the. Unfortunately, you won't see it through here, but you can. Okay. Have a, so I you can, can feel me while doing it. So you see, and you see cells, grains. and they have processes. Can you see them, like extending away? So if you move, if you move this a little bit. I can move it, it's okay. And you can change the focus by turning this wheel. I see like little fibers. Yes, exactly. So those are, that's the cells. But I will I show you. Any or any kind of no, 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 no. I mean, they would move. Can you hold the camera again? And I can show you sure. different cells. They would move over time. A little bit, and also they divide, but you would need to. Um, have but these these cells are like, uh, why are they so uh, longish and like they look like little that's pieces just, of thread? That's just the way they grow in culture. That's just that is their characteristic to be like this in culture. Also, ah, when I they see. get dense, when there are a lot of cells, then they change their shape a little bit. I will show you okay. the one. And is, is this shape a characteristic of a skin cell or yes. it's nothing to do with that, it's, so it's just the, the medium that it's no, holding? No, no, no. And then we also work with different cells, like with, with immortalized cell lines. They have been taken, so this, these cells are called hex cells. So it's human embryonic kidney cells. So Kidney cells? Yeah. Ah, okay. So if you look at these ones now, you can see that they have a completely different shape. Okay. So every cell type has its characteristics, so wow. you can... And it's like, what, what's the resolution here? This is probably only like 10 or 20 times. And so what I see is like, like one unit is one cell, but it's like... A you you will see of clusters cells. of cells. Can you see that? There are like... Yes. And in, the, in between there are like empty spaces. But if you look at the cells again tomorrow, everything might be overgrown because they divide quite quickly. And uh, can you see a bigger uh, magnification, like some yeah. cell, inside cell processes? Inside, you wouldn't be able to look on a microscope like this. This I microscope see. is just for us to check that they're healthy, that they're growing. I but see, if you I want see. to see more, you know, more detailed things, yeah. you would have to go like to the a mitochondria and yes, stuff like that. you would that. have to go to a very powerful microscope, and you would also have to stain things because, like this, now you just see the cell. But if you want to um, see different compartments, you have to use antibodies specific for those things. Even if you want to see it under the microscope. Yes. Okay. So I will go higher. I don't know whether. I will change the magnification to 20 times and now you can, well, it's not that sharp. Okay. But if you want to 